Welcome to Voice First TV. My name is Ian Utili. This is the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center, and we are having the Voice of the Car Summit. I'm here with one of uh, my friends that I consider as a leader, as a brander, a storyteller, a marketer, a biz dev person, uh, you name it, he makes things happen. Uh, he also does a lot of training. Maybe he'll talk a bit about that. But as we're looking at like new industries, like voice tech in cars, one of the biggest things in my opinion is storytelling. So I was thinking to myself, what great storyteller do I know that teaches other people how to tell stories that could maybe end our uh, live stream in the broadcast studio with some insight on how should startups or even huge companies like Google and Amazon best tell their story. Brian, thank you for joining me. Thanks, Ian. The floor is yours. I'm here to listen and learn. Okay. Well, teaching is what I like to do most of all. Um, so I'll do my best. I am the founder of a company called Metaphor. And the reason I named my company Metaphor is because Metaphor is a split second story. So metaphors are like thinking partners for our brain because they help us understand complex ideas in a split second. Right. And so what I do is I come in and I teach companies, mostly in the tech space, mm -hmm. how to introduce products through storytelling, but I teach them how to tell split second stories. Yeah. Because as we know, attention is a rare commodity right. and we can't use the same storytelling methods that are used in Pixar or a movie theater or a Shakespeare play because they have the luxury of having a two hour captive audience right. who wants to hear what they have to say. And we're introducing products where we have to earn the attention of our audience and they haven't been convinced yet. Right. So with metaphors, for example, the reason it's a split second story is because instead of just explaining the data or the technology behind voice technology, you can say uh, voice is the greatest uh, social servant that has ever been engineered because it can meet anywhere where they're at, regardless of their location or the language that they speak or a disability or um, regardless of where they're at in life, it can meet them and help them become a part of society, helps them become more productive. Um, and in a second, you can explain the value or the problems that are being solved and you don't need a long commercial, mm -hmm. right? Um, or maybe your consumer product and you want to be more exciting and you're saying, uh, voice is a tsunami of convenience. Um, so whatever it is, you always start with the audience in mind. But I think, um, personally, I believe storytelling is the most effective way to capture attention and shift perceptions and create the most amount of um, change. In terms of changing perspectives or even user behavior, it can create the largest amount of change in the shortest period of time. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, when people come to you to learn about storytelling, mm -hmm. um, how would you approach it if it's a quick cup of coffee sure. compared to cut, they're coming to one of your multi-hour or a couple of day training seminars? Yeah. If you only have a short period of time, what are you really trying to communicate to a marketing executive or to sure. a startup founder? Yeah. Um, so my job is to study how the human brain interacts with stories. Um, and what we found is that the stories that capture the most amount of attention are stories of transformation where somebody is overcoming a, um, an objection or an obstacle, there's some kind of change. Another split second story is a from to. So like going from um, homeless to Harvard or from uh, revolutionary to evolutionary. Um, but the reason why those are interesting and the reason why they work is because you craft a brand story based off of your understanding of the changes or the impact that your audience is looking to see in their life. Um, so when I sit down with somebody, I just start to ask questions like, what are the pain points um, in your market? What are the needs of your consumer base? What are their unfulfilled needs or desires? What's stopping those desires from being um, realized right now? Or even from a perception standpoint, right? Like, why isn't the entire world um, knocking at your front door? Like, what are the perceptions or the objections? Or like, how do people feel? Are they skeptical? Are they um, just not quite sure what you're doing yet. Do we need to take them from complexity to clarity? Whatever it is, it really starts with the audience. And then um, typically over a coffee, you get an idea of the brand narrative and the story and the problems that they're solving and everything else just kind of snowballs from there. Right. You teach a lot of people just by your Instagram comments, your uh, LinkedIn you. comments. Like you're always teaching, even in, sure. even in your engagement with people. If you want to engage with you mm -hmm. and learn more about you and what you do, where should they engage with you at? 
Yeah. And what's a good starting point for people to strike a conversation with you about story? Yeah. Um, so the easiest way is to just um, go to my website, probably. I mean, obviously, I'm a marketer. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat. I'm everywhere. Um, so you can look up Metaphor, um, and it's meta.for. Um, and my website is uh, metaphor.co.com, or you can Google my name, Bryant Taquez. Um, and honestly, I'm so obsessed with storytelling that anybody who has a challenging um, or a big goal, like a lofty objective, mm -hmm. that they're going to need to learn to be more influential in order to accomplish, I'm interested with having coffee and talking about storytelling with anyone in the world. It's awesome. Um, now, I live in Northern California, so I can't have coffee with everyone in the world, but send me an email. We'll talk on Instagram, or awesome. you know, we'll be friends. We'll meet up one day. So fun. I always love yeah. spending time talking with you. I'm glad I can introduce Likewise. you to the Voice First TV community. And we're going to roll a quick video. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>